Hello, in this Bootstrap 4 video, we're going to show you popovers. Popovers allow you to overlay some small bit of content. Technically, you could overlay a large amount of content, but generally, you only want something small. So, it just informs the user of what they're doing or what they're clicking on. It can essentially be assigned to any element for some secondary information. It's really simple to use. Popovers do require a third party library called Teva for positioning. Don't worry, in the description there will be a link to the source code from this video and on that source code there will be the Teva file. It's not something we've written but it's something that you will need. I've already got it on the desktop so we just need to include it. You just want to include it before the bootstrap file simply because the bootstrap file requires it for popovers so you just put whatever it is called for me it's called teva.js and now the next thing we need to do is actually enable popovers and to do that just get some script tags on the go and inside here we are going to be doing some jquery so function and in here we're going to do dollar square bracket data dash toggle equals popover Ooh, I'm going to chain these because they're conflicting with the opening tag and will conflict with the closing tag you can mix and match them doesn't really matter dot popover and this is a method this data dash toggle will be linked to the actual buttons themselves that we're ready to start coding so if you just go up here I'm gonna do the first button so I'm gonna put button it's gonna have a type of button you can assign it essentially to any sort of element like I said before so you don't have to just do it to this to a button but I'm just going to do it to a B U T T O N button secondary data dash container equals body data dash toggle. This is basically what we put right here equals popover. And now we want data dash placement. This will vary depending on where you want to put your popover. So the first one I'm going to show you is top. And then next, you need to actually put the data dash content. And this is the information that you're displaying once the user clicks on it and the popover appears. So for this, I'm just going to simply put top just to keep it really simple. And inside here, you just put whatever you want your button to be called. But like I said, you don't have to use a button. You use something else. I'm going to put top popover. So I'm just going to copy and paste this. So there's a few things that we need to change. We need to change the data placement, data content and the text inside the button so let's just get this done I'm going to put left 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 right right and right save that and now if we go to our web browser refresh we got four buttons and if we click the top popover we have a popover bottom popover, left popover, right popover. At the moment, the only way to close these popovers is to actually click the button again. It's very common for them to be closed if you click outside of the popover. To do this, you just need a bit of extra JavaScript and a bit of extra HTML. It's really simple. What you want to do is go to whatever button you basically want to make 
into a dismissible popover. So I'm just going to do it with the right popover for now. I want you to do it for the rest as an extra task. Put data dash, and we need trigger equals focus. And now if you scroll down to the JavaScript area, we want dollar. dot pop over dash dismiss dot pop over and in here all we want to do is set the trigger to focus so save that refresh our web browser so I want to click on the top pop over the right pop over click outside as you can see, the right popover has now disappeared simply because we've made it into a dismissible popover. So that's it for popovers. If you have any questions, feel free to post them on our education platform, sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash question.php. There will be a link in the description along with a link to the source code from this video where you can also get the tether.js file. Please rate, comment and subscribe as it really does help us keep the content free. Plus it also helps us learn what you liked and what you didn't like about the videos. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.